Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So I'm teaching you, I sold three things on eBay on Tuesday, the 20th of September 2021. I have not sold anything on eBay since then, so up in, and that includes up until the time I was making this video, 9.30.21, 1.06pm. I've not sold anything since Tuesday night. Since last film. And I haven't sold anything on Mercari since that last day on Monday. Or on, um, Saturday, excuse me. Saturday. Monday, I was at the day I shipped out the sale. But since Saturday, I haven't sold anything on Mercari. Which is, which is expected because it's hit or miss. Sometimes I could go for like a few days without selling something in Mercari. And I go, you never know when I sell something in Mercari because I don't list, like, constantly only list. Cross list and I delete my listings from Mercari. I sell on eBay. They cross listed. And vice versa. If I sell a beanie on. Mercari, I can't mean, I just do eBay on eBay. No. But if it sells on eBay and Mercari, I'm going to honor the eBay sale because I want my eBay. My eBay is my main platform. I want that to stay in good standing. The Mercari one, I, if something happens that, oh well, I guess it's not big of a deal for me. But, anyways, um, here, let's go and talk about the sales. Here. So I sold this NOS, which is new outstock. Colin Kemp is still 425, two burner camps so of new original open box. This sold for $99.99 plus shipping. This is new other. This was um open box because the box was open and the box did have some wear. But I did go ahead and photograph it in the I did go ahead and photograph the wear. And like the there. And the camp stove did have a dent in it. And it was brand new, you could tell. Um, it did have like a little scratch right there. And it took the photo, and it was not in vintage. It said, oh wait. Eight of oh eight. Made August of 2008. But it was like, pretty much never been fired. It had some like, dents and wear. Dings and dents. That was about it, on the thing. And that's a put new other because the box is open too. But it was never been fired. But I, I picked this up at a garage sale for fifteen dollars. So for ninety nine ninety nine plus shipping and after fees, after eBay fees, my cost of shipping which is like twenty five bucks and the buyer just costs like thirty some bucks. And um to ship it to Amherst, New Hampshire. And then um my, you know, my cost of goods $15, my promo listing fee, which is 1%, which is a dollar, and then, yeah, all that combined, if I did it, I made $78.95 profit, which is not too shabby on the item. And I've only had it for 10 days, and only so, it only took 10 days for it to sell, so it's really good. I, this is a USB booth. Salt on the salt, FTC card, and super station. This sold for two twenty two plus shipping. I didn't really like uh, dollar shipping. I was going to ship this first cut with a stamp on it. On it. But I, and, and, but I realized you can ship. You missed your. Um, this one when I went to the. It says you can ship with the serum. I said, okay. Well, I'm going to ship the serum then. And I did. And hopefully the um, the the post office workers don't know what Sierra is. Even Sierra is, some do. Like one actually accepted my Sierra didn't scan it in, cause they know they can't scan it won't show up on the form. But one um other one will show up. But the one worker does not know what Sierra is. Some of them came back. I'm like, put them in the drop box. I'm like, you can drop them off in the drop box. It doesn't say you have to um. I'm put them in the um. Doesn't say you have to um. Ship them first class, but what I did is I just put them in in a in a, um. In the envelope, and then I put like my little note, in, and then it would, my thing would have covered the um very top of this because it was still just a tiny bit, and then the big tall the like the kind of medium normal size like long ones, they're kind of tall kind of tall. One way, kind of longer than one way. And I put them in there. And then I just folded it. Not this envelope, but the, um, uh, the envelope I was shipping this in. Just a little bit. Just the very top of it. And then it formed, so it didn't touch that. 
Hopefully it worked out in the book tape, but hopefully it worked out. But I charged from 2.22. I got extra at quarter plus shipping, like those big, like one of the bid sellers did. Quarter plus shipping. And I did, and that's what got driven this game. So like, but I charged for a friend for a minute or something like that. On eBay. And then they only do quarter plus dollar shipping options. And I sold my mind for 2.22 plus shipping. It was on sale. And it did have some wear on the back. Very signs of wear, you can tell. It's kind of hard to tell what really good dirt marks throughout. It's kind of more noticeable on um, most parts of imperfections. And you can tell there is some of it. Um, but I did. But when the buyer, it's kind of hard to tell on like um, scan. But um, in the um, first person I'll get it. And I did sh say there's small spots of imperfections, which there is on the back. But it's like nothing like major, 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 but it is there. And yeah. And then I sold a 2019 Roman 30th anniversary chrome pronounce it. He's junior. And number is B30 FTJ. I sold for 475 plus shipping. Buyer. It was about not almost close to nine dollars on in at the scene. My cost of shipping on that about like four. I mean about like four dollars to thirty cent four dollar twenty cent profit, which is not bad. And I still am like a dollar ten left in the profit or in the negative on this slot. I have not um cleared the profit on this slot yet. Um it kinda sucks, but Oh, I found four hidden gems. I found about because one was on. I did look up to the rookie part, most of the rookie and then the ones that were weren't well. Maybe the ones cards are like gems are like common, more common cards, like the autographs, like the autographs, or like a player like Shohei Otani, who's like a pitcher and like a hitter. That's why he's really popular. And then also the second year cards pretty popular because he has pitching and hitting variant. And then then like some of these cards like. Big name player that turned out to Tee Jr. It's a Chrome card, so the Chrome rooms are worth a little more than the regulars. Too, so. That also plays into it. So. So, yeah, I mean. It is what it is, though. I mean. I'm not gonna pick up cards unless I get, like, a really good deal on the cards anymore. On the sports cards anymore. Because I know that they're not. Not all of them worth something. And even if the enough where where if you had a lot of them up in big bulk lots and to make a profit you could still do that. So that's what I'm gonna do from now on. It's only a pay like so much depending on how many cards there are. I pay like it has a lot of them up in like big bulk lots. Like a big bulk lot. Like a couple big bulk lots or one or two big bulk lots on what, what size box they use or this and that so so yeah so until next time everybody please take care of it or I know it's on eBay it says it's accepted Monday so it is accepted so my before they weren't accepting it now I think one of them one of the bigger processes Except of a package, as they get a legit eBay envelope package. A legit package on time, so pretty exciting. Oh, if I can, if I can use eBay envelope more often now. It's in the legal requirements, cursor categories. I'm sure I'm going to take. It that I'm sure gonna do that because I can make more profit on like items that can be shipped even so yeah. It's excellent. Take care and they said by phone worker didn't know. They actually had the worker that under the other two workers that won't understand this one. You know I have the one that's kinda like forties age. 
she she took it. One older person would probably take it. Most likely, probably take it. One that's in her fifties. She questioned that might something eBay doing. If you don't believe me, look it up. I mean, pretty much, you know. Blah, 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 so. So yeah. So until the next time everybody please. Take care everyone. And hope you can hope you make some money on eBay. Go make that money because and it's 'cause it's gonna be fourth quarter coming up on tomorrow. The fourth quarter of eBay. So this is when your aims are gonna fly up the shelves. When you're thou when when you're like a thousand listing eBay stores is going to go down this day. If you don't keep listing, you can list now. I mean, your items may not sell now, but they might sell in like two, three, four months during Christmas time. And they might sell then. And also, the best time to sell the buy items is in eBay's fourth quarter. And then, like, when people get their gift cards, so like January, you know, like the end of December, early January, people will. Um, Shop on eBay using their gift cards. They get eBay gift cards. Or if they get um, Visa gift cards, they might shop using them on eBay. Those cards you can use any shop anywhere with them. And then um, they'll get, um, you know, and then February is like the best time for used goods because some people are, people are, don't want to spend a lot of money in them. January and February, so. Maybe they'll spend it on buying new stuff and some brand new stuff on. This only took 12 days or so. And then, yeah, you can see my feedback ring. Or detail settings, 4.05, 31 rings. Your shipping cost, 4.05, 33. Shipping speed, 5.5 and 22. Shipping cost, 37, 34. There's 21, 12 months, and 32 and 7, so 13 in 1 month. So I'm going to show you my one feedback now. There it is. Awesome, thanks for the next video. It's going to be the next time I leave this new one. Now, I don't look for best offers, you know, if you take best offers, it's best offer at 7 in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you just cross out, no. If you take a lower amount, then the price is thrown. No, and it doesn't factor in shipping, and the price just factors in the actual price before shipping. The price um, does include either free shipping or free sale. Um, you know, plus shipping, but it doesn't say the fact that you should cross out the original price. You want the better price? Then it rules. I don't know what's about sales. No, if you sell something in sale, you can take a best offer rate. I mean, if someone asks me, usually it shows the rate of sale price you sold for. And now it crosses out and shows the buy it. Shows the rate just crosses out like you sold in sales. So yeah, it really doesn't really bother me, but. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you my score. And then I sold, but I know I have m two items I sold on like eBay. A lot of them are free. But I got paid for them. Um, got paid for them. Um, Shark Moose and Team Bill Hunt yesterday. And then Don't Be Dover and Dover. Because I haven't gotten to those. Because everybody has the same problem. So, but with using eBay Cybers, anything $200, anything where the original sale price is 200 dollars or under um I will not have to um I get you get um two hundred dollar credit for insurance so anything two hundred dollars or under um you will have to you won't have to refund for but anything above two hundred you have to refund any amount above two hundred so if you sell something for two hundred and one you have to refund I believe you but credit might refund two hundred and you have to refund two hundred. You have to refund that one dollar, or you have to refund the whole two hundred one. I'm not sure on that. On that, but anything below two hundred, anything two hundred below, you, you get to keep all the money. And then if it's above two hundred, if it's two hundred one or above, you either you have you either get to keep two hundred, or you have to refund all two hundred and one. I'm not sure how that goes. <laughs> but I haven't sold anything but it's awesome though that 
look for you, put another one pocket, and you will get to keep your money. You're gonna keep the money. The battery gets to gets a full refund. That's awesome. It's like eBay where you have you get a refund, you have to refund, and then like mo like later on, later later on, the buyer will um you know message you and say I didn't get my money, you have to refund, and then if you did free shipping or even charge for shipping, you give them a full refund, and the buyer will um get the item back. The item like say two three weeks later, the buyer will get their item, and will come. The buyer will get their item. Uh, anyways, some buyers might be honest and refund that, but then some buyers, you know, return it if they have a second one. Then, you know, but some of them get a free item. The buyer will get freedom, and basically you ship the item out to the the buyer for free. It's kind of like yeah, that's the kind of the cost of doing business so too. But that kind of really stinks, but. It is what it is, so until next time, take care of it. And hope you enjoy on this eBay Mercari still video. I'm going to. So, yeah. So, I will take care. Take care of it.